version 0.45. Recently I saw a similar tutorial on the internet regarding the same thing. I don't remember which application was used to draw the shield icon, nevertheless I thought it'd be a neat project for Inkscape. I'm usually comforted by the flexibility of Inkscape when it comes to tasks like these. It's very easy to draw with. So let's begin. First thing I want to do is change my document properties. Change the width to 48 pixels. Change the height by 48 pixels. Okay, next I'm going to draw a square. Okay, I've chosen a dark gray fill with a light gray stroke. Next, I'm going to convert the object to uh, a path. And I'm going to add a node right in the middle on the bottom. I do that by double clicking. Now I'm going to select my left node, make it smooth. My right node, make it smooth as well. You notice I get a nice butt shaped icon here. <laughs> okay, now what I'm going to do is hold the control key down and pick the center node and stretch it down. And about like that. That kind of gives us the basic shape of the shield. Next I'll highlight and I'll hold the control key down again and I'll pull these top nodes out ever so slightly and I'll give it a curve by just selecting in the middle and pushing it up slightly. Okay, let's zoom out just a little bit and I'll change the size. And you can tweak the size however you'd like. Okay, so that's our basic shield icon. <clears throat> okay, next I'm going to make a, a white stroke on the inside of this shield. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'll change the color to black just so I can see it. And I'll change the stroke to white so I can see it too. You do that by holding the shift key down color selector and then the color white. Okay, I'll go to path, dynamic offset. Okay, I'll select the black and I'll make the fill, actually I'll turn the fill off, that should do the same thing. Okay, and that gives me a nice uh, white border on the inside. Next, I'm going to draw a shape. We can put on our shield. I'll just draw a star. We'll make that black for now. Okay, and we'll lighten it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to duplicate the star shape. Make it black, hold the shift key down, color selector tool, choose black again, that'll get the stroke. And I'm going to give it a blur effect of about maybe 2.75. And send it back a step. That kind of gives us uh, a dark outline. Okay, next we're going to put a little shine on this shield. So what I'm going to do is duplicate our white stroke and I'm going to turn the fill back on and I'm going to shut the stroke off. Okay, next we're going to draw what we're going to cut away. We'll select our Bezier tool.
think I'll change the color of the shield to a different color so I can see my uh, new path. I'll edit path, the Barbezier path, and I'll give it a nice little curve. That ought to suffice. I'll select the yellow and our path. I'll do an intersection. I'll change this yellow background to a white background. And we'll give it a gradient. And we'll adjust this a little bit. There we go. That puts a little shine on it. Next, I'm going to take the very back of the shield and I'm going to duplicate that. I'll make it all black, hold the shift key down, color selector, make it black, and I'm going to give this a blur effect 2.75. I'll send it all the way back. That'll give us a nice black outline of our shield. Okay. Now I think what I'm going to do is zoom out just a little bit and select the whole thing and group it. And I'm going to change the size just a little bit. Zoom back up. Next, let's give it just a little bit of a shadow underneath the shield. We'll select our Eclipse tool. And I'll make sure that my stroke is turned off. And we'll give it some type of a medium gray and a blur effect. And we'll try maybe an 8. Uh, we'll go for a 10, I guess. Send this to the back. And we'll just a little bit bigger. Now, I could have centered everything, uh, got everything aligned or whatever, but, you know, close enough is good enough for this tutorial. So that's basically a shield icon. Next, you can write that out as a bitmap and start using it as an icon. Thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.